Malagayang padating sa Pilipinas. I am a missionary of uh, God the Father, Jesus Christ, His Son, anointed by the Holy Ghost. Missionary ang dos na ating ama. Si Jesus Christos ang kayang anak. Pinaharan ang Espiritu Santo. Kahapon nocturo kami uh, tungko sa pagkahagis ang uh, altak. At kayo ang Tinawag niya. Naha harap tayo sa masasamang aliansa. Sa pagpalan ni Jesus. Yesterday we were talking about throwing uh, down the altars and that you are the one that God has called yes to your home to your neighborhood to your city to your uh, to your country you are the one he has called And um, we uh, face uh, evil alliances. Honda, Kanaba, Kuali, Kuali uh, Picado, Kaba, Makarum, Ang Isang, Ma, Huse, Naara. Yes. So I'm going to invite you to turn in your Bible. I'm trying to mix a little bit of Tagalog with English for my friends here in the Philippines. I wanted to say, I want to say hello. Kamusta uh, po to those over in Palawan. Those here in Cavite, others up in uh, yeah, Caloacan City. Next week uh, we uh, we plan to be in uh, Quezon City. That is the most populated city in the Philippines. It's included in the Metro Manila area and uh, the estimates are that the population is growing exponentially. I saw a report that uh, Quezon City is quickly approaching or, her, or has surpassed four million people and they believe that by 2025 the population may exceed 5 million people it's got rapid uh, population growth just in case on city itself so pray for us and if you want to help to sponsor uh, us then feel free to reach out to here us here on this uh, platform right here in the comments message to us or send us uh, 
a response and we'll get back to you so that if you want to make that possible. If you find this to be helpful to you, I uh, want to encourage you to hit the like button. Of course, Jesus tells us to uh, go and tell no one this is a, a big secret. It's a secret. Jesus said, go and tell no one. Of course, they did. They went out and told everyone. But Jesus said to go and tell no one. He obviously understood that it's really hard for human beings to keep a secret. So uh, we want you to turn to uh, Judges, Judges uh, chapter 7, Judges uh, chapter 7. Yes, then we're going to start with uh, verse 1. And uh, before we get on this, I want to say that at this time, um, Gideon has thrown down the altar and the oppressors to the people of God they uh, they were mad they were not happy and so they gathered together to do battle against the people of God because they were following the instructions of the Lord and uh, when you are obedient to the Lord and when you rise up and throw down all those those high things and everything that exalts itself against the knowledge of Christ bring them into captivity uh, don't expect them to be happy about that don't expect those who are opposed to the plan of God for your nation and for you don't expect them to be happy don't expect them to stand up and uh, uh, and give you praise for being obedient to the Lord. They're going to make waves. They're going to make waves. So uh, I'm going to start with so the Amalekites and the Midianites. They were very angry, and they were going to move against the people of God and where you are as you assert yourself in the name of Jesus don't expect the forces of, he uh, of hell to be happy with you they won't be happy with you start with uh, verse 1 in, uh, in the Magandang Balita Biblia that would be uh, Hukom uh, 7. Hukom 7. Or Judges chapter 7. See, uh, Gideon, I tena towag ding jerubal. Asang ara mangang. Uh, boom, boom, man, gan, si Gideon at an kayang maga to han at nag campo sila sa may buko on herod samantala ang maga. Uh, Minyanita I Nagampo Sa Hilagang Kapatagan Sa May Buro On More So Jeru Jerubabum Who is Gideon And they all the people that were with him Rose up early and pitched beside the well of Herod so that the host of the Midianites on the north side of them uh, by the hill of Mora in the valley Sanabi 
me Yahweh K Gideon. So bring, so bring a dummy on Maga to Han Mo Para a Pag to Gum Payan Ko Kayo Laban Sa Maga Midianita Baka Akalan a Nilan Sarili Nila Ang Naka Tulo Talo Sa Maga Midianita at Hindi the Hill Sa Tulonko Kaya uh, Sabahin Mo Sa Teong Bayan Na Ang Lahai Ang Nata Toko I Marai Nang Amui Nang Sabahin Ito Nigidian U um, Umui Ang Twenty Two Thousand In Good Ten Thousand Pala Ang Naiwan In English that would be uh, Now Therefore, go to proclaim in the ears of the people, saying, Whosoever is fearful and afraid, let him return and depart early from Mount Gilead. And there returned of the people 22,000 people. Verse 4 Sanabi Muli Ni Yahweh Ke Gideon Napa Karami Paring Netira Isama Mo Sila Satabi Ang Batis At Babigian Go Sila Run on Tos Pag Sabuk Duan Go Sasabahin Go Sino on the pot Mong Isama At Kung Sino and Hindi. And the Lord said, uh, There are yet too many. Bring them down into the water. And it shall be that of whom I say unto thee, This shall go up with thee, the same shall go with thee, and all the same shall not, and the same shall not go. So the Lord was telling, there's too many with you. There's too many with you so that I can receive all of the honor and the glory. Perhaps there are too many people. Too many people associated with you and Perhaps the Lord wants to receive all of the honor and all of the glory. Remember, he was telling Gideon, you are the one. You are. I hear from people uh, from many nations. There's only seven continents, and I believe I've heard from all seven many people many nations and right now most of the world is in quarantine we're here in the Philippines and we've been under nationwide quarantine uh, 
going on 19 months now. Almost 19 months. That's more than a year and a half. And our Father in Heaven, He continues to move here in the Philippines. He continues to build His church. He continues to build His church. And it's not because of an abundance of money because in the time I've been here in the Philippines not once have we had the budget not once so what we see and the progress that we're seeing in the Philippines is not because we have plenty of money. It's because the hand of God is moving. There have been thousands who have come out to these campaigns, to these services. Thousands have been uh, born again. So many have been scheduled with their pastors to be baptized in water. Yes, if you have a, if you've accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you've not had the opportunity yet to be baptized in water, you need to follow that example. Some people will say it is a uh, uh, it it it, uh, it some people would say that Water baptism is uh, is an outward demonstration of what is taking place on the inside. But I'm not. I, I've be, begun to disagree with that. Jesus was baptized in water. The apostles they would teach to repent and be baptized. Uh, baptism was a outward statement. It was an open show. We see in Romans chapter 10 that, uh, that you speak you tell people publicly about the change you have made in your heart. You, you tell people publicly you've been uh, born again. You have decided to follow Jesus. You have to tell people. You cannot go into your old ways. You can't walk the old paths anymore. You can't engage in the, in the same habits. You can't abuse your body anymore. You can't, uh, uh, you can't uh, drink yourself into a, a stupor. You can't do that. The Bible says that your body was created to be the temple of the Holy Ghost. And that... He dwells on the inside of you that you are not to defile the temple of God. So you tell people, look, I've been born again. I have decided to follow Jesus. And that first step is, is uh, to publicly be baptized, follow the Lord Jesus, and be uh, baptized in, in water. And many times, when I've baptized uh, people in water, many times they go under the water, and when they come out of the water, they're speaking a, a new language, uh, a language that they didn't speak before. And... Uh, now, you say, well, is it an unknown language? Well, our Father in Heaven, He 
There's not anything that he doesn't know. There's not a language that he doesn't understand to us as human uh, beings. There are languages that I don't understand. But our Father in heaven, he doesn't have any of those languages. And for the most part, you, you use that language to pray and you glorify God and how God uses that. You know, there are, there are rules, there, there are guidelines, and they're given in the Word of God. So you need to study the Word and make sure it's done uh, properly according to the guidelines established by our Father, which is in heaven. But many times, they, uh, they speak a language they didn't speak before. They're changed. The Word of God tells us, Second Corinthians 5, 17, If any man, that we know that to mean man, woman, boy, or girl, if any man be in Christ, they become a, <coughs> a new creature, a new creation. All things pass away. And behold, all things become new because you've been born again. I see people have tried to uh, soften the word of God. And people say they act a certain way because they were born that way. And the Bible tells us that all of us are born into sin. But the good news is, is you must be born again. So the set you you uh, you born once and you're going to die twice. And that second death is going to be putting you into the lake of fire. But if you're born twice, you only have to die once. So you show yourself new. You uh, show yourself changed. So, in here in the Philippines, there have been, and it's not been old people, it's been a lot of young people. Uh, there's going to be a, a generation change. See, right now around the world, uh, the world is is governed by old people and uh, thinking the way they were taught in in the 20th century but now we have uh, we're in the 21st uh, century they've got uh, problems and uh, and we need young people who are taught in the 21st century the truth of God's Word so that the young can transform nations if they're taught the Word of God in this 21st century they can come up with 21st century solutions because they've been in communion with our God, God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, under the anointing of the Holy Ghost, you can be changed. Things can be better. The world, according to the scripture, is not going to change, but you can change the world for people who are born again. And next week, our plan, we're go on Sunday, we're going to be over in uh, Sonia Mayor Tre Verde Rosa. Uh, but later next week, we're also uh, planned to be, uh, plan to be in uh, Quezon City. We were there before the pandemic and it was good but the pandemic uh, kept us from returning and so uh, you be praying with us but uh, 
with uh, Gideon, the Lord uh, decided that there were too many people. God wants to receive all of the honor and all of the glory, and if He He wants to make sure that He does receive all of the honor and all of the glory, give it all to Him. So um, He called for them to drink water. And uh, the ones who got down on one knee to drink, they took the water, cupped it in their hands, and went drink in that way, paying attention. The Lord says, I want those 300. There were others, though, they got down on all fours. And they just stuck. I don't know if I can. If I can. Uh, give you an example. But they got down into the water on all four. Stuck their faces right in the water. And drank. As if they were dogs. The Lord rejected all of those people. He was looking for people. Who conduct themselves in the right way our father in heaven is the one yes we uh, want to follow his rules his guidelines the word of God is written to believers all of the promises found in the Word of God, all of them are written to believers. Uh, if, you, if you don't believe, don't expect to receive if you do not believe. We are uh, coming up on, coming up shortly on 30 minutes and we want to keep this short. We're going to pray here in just a minute. Let's go ahead and pray now. Father God, forgive me of my sins. I want to serve for you. I want to be born again. I want to be a citizen of heaven. Lord, help me to do that today. Change my heart. Change my life. Yes. In faith, I cry out to you, O oh God. I want your kingdom come in my life. Your will to be done in my life. Yes, I give my life into the Father's hands. I give it into your hands, O oh God. I want your will to be done in my life. Yes, that's a wise way to go. Forgive me of my sins as I forgive those who have sinned against me. Not always easy to do, so you give it to him in faith, just like salvation. You give your life to him in faith. You give it your best shot. Isn't it uh, Linda Ronstadt that used to sing that song? Hit me with your best shot. Well, give the Lord your best shot. He wants your best. He wants you to give your best to Him. He promises that He doesn't tempt His people with evil, but that every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father. That good things in your life, those good things come from God. Got some evil things in your life, those bad things come from the devil. The Bible tells us plainly, Jesus teaches us plainly in the Gospel of Luke that he gives good things to his children. Good parents, they give good to their children. If you 
are good to your children, do you not think that our Father in Heaven is going to be good to His children as well? So every good and perfect gift, it comes from God the Father. It comes from Him. And that could be promotions, better jobs, healthy children, he healings come from God. And uh, we call on to Him. Uh, God uh, heals. He saves. You ask that His will would be done in your life. Yes. Good things. And uh, say, Father God, I want to do things that are so big that people know it's you. I want people to know you receive all of the honor, all of the glory. Yes. We thank you, Father, that you always hear us when we pray. We thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, and I've been trying to mix in more Tagalog, more and more. And so I know that my my uh, command of the Filipino language is not very good. But in faith, and giving it to him in faith, I know that he will help. He will help. So, I uh, ask you uh, this question. Handika na ba kwa picado ka ba? Are you the one? Are you qualified? Are you ready? Mankaroon ang isang mahusay na ara magpunta sa pangalan ni Jesus. I want to encourage all of you to have a great day. Dios Libendega. Go in Jesus' name. God bless you.